We'll see. Well, <laughs> add Ohio's governor to the political turnabout when it comes to a special summer election. Mike DeWine, the governor of Ohio, confirming he supports a public vote in August on whether it should be harder to change the state constitution. It would make for an even busier year at the Hamilton County Board of Elections for sure. And that's where we have our political guy, WLWT News 5's John London, live with another year in politics. <laughs> Hi there, John. Well, Mike, yeah, as soon as the current primary, which is going on now, is over, it looks like the folks here will have to gear up for an August election. The state has appropriated up to $20 million to pay for it. Just a few months ago, Republican lawmakers and Ohio's governor were in agreement that August elections should be eliminated. That was then. This is now. As early voters, what few there were, did their thing today in the small ballot May primary, Ohio lawmakers moved towards an even smaller ballot in a special August election. Once the Ohio House approves later this week, it'll be official. Pro-choice supporters who are gathering signatures to enshrine abortion rights in the Ohio Constitution would need 60 percent public approval instead of a simple majority. You know, this is a group that literally only months ago outlawed August elections because they said no one votes in them. Democrat David Pepper labels it a Republican power grab, saying it'll cost the state millions to pull off. They're making an exception to the very rule they just passed for their own change. It, it, that tells you everything about these people. Nobody wants costly elections. I think uh, this is something that is worth it. Local GOP Chairman Russell Mock believes it'll pass. Ohio's constitution um, has been under siege uh, a number of times by special interest groups uh, and, and a lot of outside money. Election workers might have to keep at it for close to a year before getting a break. There could be four elections in 10 months, May, August, November, and the presidential primary next March. Turnout during summer vacation season is normally thin, but this would be a special statewide issue with heavy consequence. There's many registered voters that just uh, do not wish to participate in primaries, uh, but those voters may uh, want to weigh in on this question. This afternoon, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine said he would sign to allow a special August vote. There's a be careful what you wish for aspect of this. Instilling this will take a majority of a tiny turnout election. Undoing it in the future would take 60 percent, potentially 60 percent of voters, you know, in a real election, which would be an awful lot more people. And today, former Ohio Governor Bob Taft sent a letter urging his fellow Republicans in the General Assembly to not raise the threshold to 60 percent, saying it's the type of issue best decided in general elections when there's maximum turnout. Live in Norwood, John London, WWT. News 5.